Hey, what's up guys? It's Yvonne. And in this video, I want to show you how to do proper keyword research for your campaigns because it is such a crucial part for any sort of search paid campaigns that you're going to be running. For those of you that have seen my case studies without the brand bidding keywords, uh, I got a lot of emails, a lot of questions asking, Yvonne, how do you find such profitable keywords? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you here how to do in this video. We are going to be using Exapure as our sample ClickBank product, and we're going to be using the Google Ads Keyword Planner, which is what I suggest to use just because it's completely free and it gives you a lot of good keyword ideas. So simply head over to ads.google.com, create an account here with Google Ads, and you will get access to the free keyword planner here that they have that you can use anywhere you want to, including Microsoft advertising as well. Even though for Microsoft ads, I do suggest using the Microsoft ads keyword planner. But the process that I'm gonna show you here is going to be the same. And by the way, I'm going to put a link to those case studies that I'm referring to with the non-brand bidding keywords that you can take a look at and get some inspiration, get some ideas for how to make profitable campaigns. I'm going to put a link to those in the description of this video. So take a look at those. Without further ado, let's get into it. How do you do proper keyword research? So once you log into your Google Ads account, click on tools and settings, click on keyword planner. And we're going to click on discover new keywords. And now how do you start? All right. So the first thing you want to do is change the location. So depending on where you're targeting, because that's where you want to get the keyword data from. So we're going to type in United States, because uh, usually that's the tier one country that most of you guys are going to be targeting. So let's say for the purpose of this video, we're targeting Canada and US. That's fine. Now, what do you type in? Let's suppose you want to promote this exit your product. What do you type in? Just weight loss, how to lose weight. You could. Those are, however, pretty basic and generic keywords that probably won't get you much sales. Uh, for those keywords, you will need a funnel. For broad keywords like weight loss, how to lose weight, how to lose belly fat, you guys are going to need a funnel. You're going to need to get an email list for the customer and then keep on sending them emails, build trust, and then sell offer after offer. For ge generic keywords like that, the chances of you getting sales right away from the first click are pretty low. I know from experience, you do need a funnel. So the idea here is we're trying to get unique keywords, right? And so here's how we start. So let's suppose again, we're doing Exapure. What you want to do is head over to the company site, whatever product you're promoting, and look for keywords that you think would be a good starting point. So for example, here, we can look at this, the tropical uh, secret for healthy weight loss. So what you could do is type in tropical weight loss. Okay. That could be our unique keyword. That's not quite common. It's not as common as how to lose weight, how to lose weight fast. Tropical weight loss is something I haven't usually heard of. So we're going to open a notepad and we're going to type in tropical weight loss. Okay. Now we can come in here. We can keep reading. Scientists discover the real root cause of your belly fat, no diet or exercise. So what we can do is we can open up our notepad again and we could say no, no diet, weight loss. OK, so what we're doing is we're just getting these ideas, these starting points that we're going to be starting off with. And we're going to be inputting in our keyword planner to get even more ideas. Now, my uh, scrolling wheel here is a little wonky, so sometimes we'll have to use these here on the side. Now, the other thing is um, I know that. Uh, just what, what I recall from one of the ClickBank products is they also use a word like a tropical loophole. Okay, so we can do tropical loophole. You might not find it here, actually. You, you might. Let's see if you do. Loophole. Yeah, there's no loophole here. Uh, but something you can try out. Tropical secret for healthy weight loss just because I remembered for another product. Right, so lucky me. You might not have thought of that, but... We're just going to see what ideas come up here. But anyway, everything you need is on the page. So let's keep scrolling. Let's keep uh, looking. Root cause of your unexplained weight loss. So we can try that. We can try root cause, you know, of, sorry, root cause of unexplained weight gain. So root cause weight gain. We could do that. The only product in the world, exotic nutrients and plants. Okay, so this is the only product supposedly in the world that has a blend of exotic nutrients. So we could say um, exotic weight loss, maybe. Okay. So we're just getting ideas here, guys. We're just going through the page and seeing what we can find. So let's see. Real life changing results. Okay. Nah, testimonials. No. Let's see if there's anything else here. Is Exipure safe? 
all natural proprietary formula plant based okay so we have enough you have more than enough if you can't come up with anything at all you can just use the product name and you'll get some ideas so if we type in for example execute and click enter here you will get some ideas so uh don't use Exapure when you're actually promoting because that's brand bidding and I believe Exapure is pretty strict with their policy. But over here, you can get ideas like weight loss, you know, so that could be your starting point. Then you're going to type in weight loss or weight loss pills or supplement, you know, weight loss supplement, weight loss pills. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can use the word pills in Google, by the way. You can't use that. So here, weight loss supplement, right? So if you have absolutely nothing to start with, you can just use the, the product name. You start with that, so Exapure, and then you're gonna put that in here, and then you're gonna get ideas like here, weight loss supplements. So then you're gonna copy that, and you're gonna put it in your notepad. Now, this keyword isn't too unique, okay? This one's quite common. I've seen a lot of people use it, and it's not unique, unique. So you can definitely put it in and see if it gets you sales, because I don't know, nobody knows, unless you actually put the keywords in and see the data coming in. For unique keywords, that's how you would start with. So come in here and see if you can find these bits and pieces of something unique. So once you do that, okay, let's start off with the first one, tropical weight loss. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna delete Exapure. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna click next and we're gonna click get results or enter get results. So here we have some keyword ideas, okay? And then here's the, trop the tropical loophole that just comes in from tropical weight loss already. So you're gonna pick out keywords that you guys like, okay? So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna select this one, this one looks good, this one looks good, this one looks good, dissolves fat overnight. I don't know if Exapure does, but if it does, that, that would be great. Tropical water, okay? So Exapure isn't water, it's pills. So I don't think this would be a good candidate for a keyword, so we're not gonna select it. That, that looks good. Water, water, no. Tropical loophole, tropical loophole. So what you would do is you would go down the list and select the keywords that you guys like. So uh, sure, I think weight loss drink at night because it's a pill. You put it in water and then you drink it. So that could work because it is a drink. It's not water, but it is a drink. That dissolves fat. Jack Barrett, uh, tropical loophole. I don't know if that's Jack Barrett. Let's see if we can type in Jack here and see. Nope, doesn't look like doesn't look like the guy's name is Jack, so we're not going to select these. Tropical loophole, tropical loophole. So that's what you would do, guys, okay? You would go down the list. This is time-consuming. The more time you spend, the more of these unique keywords you're going to get. So that's the process. That's all you guys are going to do, right? New tropical water. Nope, not, wait, not that. Reddit, no. Tropical loophole buy. Tropical loophole method. Fat burning drink. So... Let's suppose these are good, okay? What you would do is you would keep going down the list and keep selecting these keywords. So you would keep going down the list. Fat burning, eh, I don't know if it's a drink. Um, in this case, it's a little different because it looks like they're looking specifically for a drink as opposed to the first option, drink at night is more like, you know, it could be water. I feel like, I feel like that could be it. So I don't think this one would apply for what we're doing here. Tropical loophole pill, yes. So go down the list, okay? I'm not gonna spend too long on this specific thing. I just wanna show you the process. And then you're gonna add it to your plan, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is add it to our plan. So we're gonna select plan here. Don't add it to an existing campaign yet. We're gonna select it to plan and then we're gonna create an ad group for this plan. So the ad group for this one is let's say uh, tropical loophole. We're gonna click, uh, you can leave it as uh, phrase, uh, phrase, broad match. It doesn't matter because first of all, nothing changes when you actually um, import or export. When you export the Excel file, the keywords won't be in any specific um, match type. Uh, the second thing is once you actually add the campaigns to your Google Ads account, you'll be able to change it with a snap of a finger. So it really doesn't matter. Let's keep it broad match here. And oops, that got deleted. So yeah, so let's say uh, tropical loophole. Okay, this is our ad group here. We're gonna click create here for this ad group. And then we're going to add keywords. And now these keywords were added to our plan. So if we come here into saved keywords, these are the keywords that we have. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't show the ad group unless we click on columns. Let's see if, um, no, yeah. So it doesn't show the ad group, unfortunately. But when you uh, export it in the file here, Google Sheets or Excel, 
you will be able to see the ad group. Okay, so that's what matters. So this is our plan. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is pick something with a high volume. And by the way, this is the past, right? So Google's data shows you the past. In the future, it might be better, it might be lower. So if you look at this, for example, this one tropical loophole weight loss started off with high searches, and then it's been going downhill. So keep that in mind. Don't think that this is actually the highest uh, search volume keyword because it might not be next month, right? As you look at some of these, they've been going way down and some of them have been going up or no, I don't see anything that have been going up more like, you know, just an up, down, up, down. But for example, this one, you know, tropical loophole for losing weight. Okay. So pick any one of these. Let's say we want to pick this one, tropical loophole, lose weight. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back into keyword ideas and then we're going to put that in here as well. And then we're going to hit enter or you can put both in. It doesn't matter. And then here you're going to see new ideas for new keywords that you can use. Now, the cool thing about you adding your keywords to your plan is that you'll be able to see which keywords you already added. So you don't have to repeat them. So, uh, yeah, so these ones we don't probably don't need except your review scam, unless you create a page that actually does review or does um, uh, scam reveal or whatever, then you can do that. So this one, for example, this one's cool. Tropical loophole hack. I like that. Tropical loophole for losing weight. Yeah, we have that one. Okay, tropical loophole exapure. So exapure doesn't allow brand bidding. You can't use that. Tropical uh, exapure, no, natural tropical loophole. So there, look at this. You're getting new ideas that you wouldn't have with that original keyword. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add it to plan, tropical loophole, broad match, doesn't matter, you're gonna add keywords. Now these ones are gonna be added. Now let's suppose you like another keyword. Let's suppose you like, let's go through, uh, so average, average monthly searches, let's go through this one. We can add it here, hit enter, and now we can get new ideas as well. And that's the process, guys. That's what you guys are gonna do. Go down the list and just keep looking for keywords, okay? What you could also do is you could actually leave one of these keywords, one or two, as broad match. And that way you'll get new ideas coming in from the search term report. Be careful though, I don't re really usually like to use broad match because it's just so much junk in there. So here you're, you have new keywords, new ideas, or at least you should. Fat dissolving tropical loophole, tropical loophole to lose fat, fat burning, okay? So these, I believe, are new. I don't think we've seen them before. Um, tropical loophole, tropical plant-based, supplement, right? Uh, weight loss scam, no, feel better today, boom. Then we're gonna add it to our plan, tropical loophole plan. And if we go to plan again, by the way, you wanna change the location here as well. United States, hit enter, and we're gonna hit save. And now here you're gonna see some data for your keywords. And if you go to the forecast, you're gonna see what you're expected to get. So for $30 an average uh, daily budget for, I believe this is for the month. So this is the forecast that you're gonna be getting for August, right? So for next month. However, we're not done. We wanna get more ideas. So we're gonna go into keyword ideas. We're gonna go through the next thing on our list. So tropical loophole, we can delete that because that's the same thing. Let's suppose no diet weight loss. Okay, so this is completely different. So we're going to remove both of these. And then we're going to put in no diet weight loss. And we're going to say get results. And now we see this. So no diet weight loss, well, low carb foods. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that qualifies. That's up to you if that qualifies. No sugar for two weeks. That seems like a diet to me. So that's not what we're looking for. So for example, losing weight without dieting. Yes. And that has high average monthly searches. Uh, weight loss, no exercise, for example. Let's see. So it would keep going down the list. Not losing weight no matter what I do. No. No carb weight loss. Lose weight without eating. That seems to be counterintuitive. I mean, that's, that's how you lose weight is without eating. No dairy weight loss. So you're going to go down the list, find the relevant keywords right? And then you're going to add them to a plan, but you're going to add them to a new plan. You're going to create a new ad group. This is no diet weight loss. You're going to click create. And we're going to add these keywords here. And now they're in the plan. Now, that's not a lot of ideas. So let's suppose we're going to use this one here. Now we're going to add this one here. And we're going to get results. And we'll see if we get some more ideas that are now more relevant to what we're looking for. How to lose weight fast without exercise. Boom. Losing weight without trying. 
perfect. These are perfect keywords that we can add. How to lose weight without dieting, that's perfect. How do I lose weight? How I can lose weight without exercise, that's perfect. Lose weight without working out. Weight loss without exercise. How to lose weight without exercise, that's perfect. Okay, losing weight for no reason. I don't know if that's relevant. So we're gonna add these keywords now, and then we're gonna pick something out that we like. Let's say lose weight without working out. We're getting out of here. Now you could argue and say that, okay, losing weight without working out versus losing weight with, without a diet are two separate things. If that's the case, great. Put them into two separate ad groups. That's up to you if you wanna separate them out. If so, just do that, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna look through these other keywords now that we've added. So you see the process, right? You just keep adding these keywords and keep getting new ideas. And eventually, once you actually apply these keywords, you're gonna find the gems. You're gonna find the ones that are doing well. Moreover, if you have one keyword that's very long, so a long tail keyword, but even longer than long tail, four or five words um, or more in a keyword, you can put that as a broad match and then you can utilize the search term report to get some ideas for what people are typing in. So you can do that for one or two keywords in your ad group. Don't do too many broad match. So how to lose weight in two days without exercising. Okay, sure. How to lose weight without counting calories. I love that. Without losing muscle. Eh, that's... I don't know if that's applicable for us. Lose weight without excess, only diet. Okay, yeah, so that's where there's a clear difference between the two. And basically, yeah, so let's add that. And boom, okay, so now we have these two different ad groups. Now, if we go to keyword plan, you're not gonna see them separated out by ad group. You will only see them separated out by ad group once you download it, okay? Once you download the report. But for now, these are all the keywords we have. If we go to forecast, now this should... Uh, be a little better. Now we're expected 115 clicks, right? So that looks good. Let's do maybe one more. Let's come in here. Let's say root cause or maybe exotic weight loss. I like this one. This one looks kind of cool. So we're going to delete all these. We're going to enter exotic weight loss and let's see if we get some ideas. There's not many. There's not many. So we can probably leave that one out. So let's go with this one. Root cause. Root cause weight gain. Um, mm, not quite applicable, not quite applicable. So we have to think of another way to kind of phrase it. Um, root cause weight gain. Does maca pills? I just don't know what maca pills are. So you can look it up. You can say maca pills, right? And just see what the heck people mean when they type this in. Maca root may help vegetable. Okay. <clears throat> so maca make you gain weight i don't know why it talks about maca though i don't I, I don't understand why we're looking at maca um now what you could also do is you could take this whole website and put it here and see if you get some ideas you could do that as well but i'm just trying to see yeah so let's say let's remove root cause let's say real cause of weight gain let's do that because root cause, I think they mean the actual root, like a plant. Real cause, real cause of weight gain. Nothing, okay. So nothing about that. So uh, you could play around with them more. You can change around the words. Uh, you know, even one word can make a huge difference, can get you results. So you can do that, play around real cause, true cause of weight gain, real weight gain, like things like that and see if you get something. But we're just gonna leave that for now. And instead, we're gonna put in this website and see if we get something here. Oh, sorry, that's where we add the website to not show keywords related to that site. So we're gonna go here instead, filter with a website. We're gonna enter it here and we can use just this page and we're gonna click get results. And let's see if Google can find us results related to. So basically what we did by ourselves, by going through and finding something, uh, we can do it here. But I prefer this approach first and then using this website. So brown adipose tissue weight loss. Okay, so that's cool. That's a cool idea. That, so with that, we can go in here. We could add it here. Or we can delete these or add a new one. Uh, so weight loss, boring, Xapure reviews, no. Brown adipose tissue, no. Supplements to increase, Xapure, yeah. So stubborn fat, pretty common. Proven weight loss reviews. So once you find things that you like, like for example, I like this one, the ad brown adipose tissue weight loss, that's pretty damn specific. Foods that increase brown fat. Foods that, yeah. So you can go down the list, find something. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna change this to, we're gonna see if we can get some more ideas for this because I like this. Brown adipose weight loss, we're gonna click get results. 
and give it a second to load. There you go. So brown adipose weight loss. I like that. And not water, brown adipose tissue and weight loss. Okay. Brown fat and weight loss, maybe. Brown adipose weight loss, weight loss supplement. Perfect. Activate brown cells weight loss. I don't know if that's applicable. Could be. Weight loss brown. So let's suppose that's enough. That's what we want. We're going to add it to a new ad group. Brown adipose weight loss. Say create. We're going to say add keywords. Okay. So you're going to, you guys are going to keep doing that for all the different ideas you have. And then what, whichever ones you like, like I said, you're like, you're going to take this one. You're going to add it in here. You're going to say go. And then uh, basically what we're doing here by adding the website here is we're removing keywords that have to do with exit pure, but we can remove that and we can just manually remove those keywords. So now we can get more ideas. Uh, again, I don't like water because it's not water we're selling. It's a pill. Tablets. Yeah, actually they are tablets. They're pills, which are like tablets, I believe. Um, or we can just deselect it. I, I really, I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. No. Okay. Capsules. So I like that brown fat capsules, but then we'd have to figure out if this is indeed made for brown fat or made with oh low brown at opposed to levels. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't think so. Not that one. Brown adipose fat burner. I like that one. So we're going to add it here. So that's what you're going to do. Okay. You know the process. Once you're done with this, guys, you're going to go into saved keywords. You have all the keywords here. You could go into forecast to read the report, see how much. So that's a lot of clicks. That's a good budget for 300 bucks a month. That's a lot of clicks. Uh, it could be cheaper because the cost per click here is $3, which is pretty expensive. It doesn't have to be so high. We're going to go into saved keywords. You guys are going to uh, download this. Let's say a regular Excel file. And then we're going to open this up and then let me show you what you would do with that. So then here, as, as you can see, the keywords don't matter, right? It just says broad, but it's even if it said phrase or exact, it's not going to put in the automatically the uh, parentheses or the brackets for you. It's not going to do that. So here's the ad group here. It does show the ad group. So what then you would do to create the campaign is you would take these, let's say tropical loophole, you would copy those. It would come back here into your Google Ads account. And then for your campaign, if you have a campaign or if you want to create a new campaign, you would simply create a new campaign and then you would copy paste these keywords. You would just select copy, paste them, and then make sure they are phrase or you could leave them as they are. And once the campaign is published, you select the keywords, you click on change keyword match type and you change them all to phrase or exact. Okay, very easy to do. So don't worry about that part. And that's what you would do. So that's for your first ad group. This would be for your other ad group. This would be for your third ad group. If you guys are using dynamic keyword insertion, you can even put them all in one ad group because your ad title will be changing depending on the keyword. So I still like to go with single keyword ad groups. Uh, it's easier for me and I still think it's better. It's more precise. But if you are using the dynamic keyword insertion, which is also good to use, you can put them all in one ad group and just have the ad title change up depending on whatever keyword people are typing in. But this is the idea, guys. This is how you do this keyword research. Then what you would do is you would put one or two of these keywords. As you can see, they're a very long tail, right? So that's good. That's what you want. These are the exact specific keywords you want. What you can do is put one or two of them. Let's suppose, for example, this one, or maybe tropical loophole burns fat or dissolves fat overnight. You can put that as a broad match. And that way you'll be able to get some ideas by utilizing the search term report. So if you come in here into any campaign, you click on keywords, you click on search terms, you'll be able to see exactly what people typed in to see your ad. And that's how you'll also get new ideas. And then you can utilize the keyword planner tool again to go in there and add those keywords and get related keyword ideas. All right. And that is it, guys. This is how you do keyword research here with a Google Ads uh, keyword planner. The same thing applies to Microsoft ads. Same thing. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial for how to actually create the campaigns, how to set up tracking, how to set up remarketing, all that cool stuff. I invite you to check out my website at evonmana.com where I offer you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide. And of course, these training courses right here. I have seven, you know, the Google Ads mastery course is like five to six hours long of everything you need to know to set up, create your Google Ads account and get your profitable campaigns up and running. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.